God giveth and man taketh away. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 animals that are now extinct because of humans. Species are actually going extinct faster now as a result of us, as a result of human action on the globe than at any other time in history. For this list, we're looking at animals that are now extinct primarily by human cause. This means that the animals have had to be officially declared extinct, and that their extinction has to be a result of human intervention. Striped biologist taunters! What are you gonna do, shoot us? Number 10, Quagga. This animal's not a zebra, it's a quagga. The quagga was a uniquely patterned subspecies of zebra. With the front half looking like a zebra and the back half looking more like a horse, the quagga was a prized attraction for natives on the African plains who hunted the quagga for its skin and sometimes for meat. When Dutch settlers colonized the area, the quagga was considered more than a pest than a prize and it was hunted to reduce grazing competition with their own livestock. The quagga, once roaming in herds of hundreds, was decimated by the 1850s, and by 1878, the last wild quagga died. The last captive specimen died in the Natura Artis Magistra Zoo in Amsterdam in 1883. I don't care if you found one quagga, two quagga, I care that you found any. They're extinct. Number 9. Javan Tiger Three tiger subspecies became extinct within the last 80 years, and the Javan tiger is among them. Formerly found in Java, the most populated island in Indonesia, the tiger was widespread on the island at the turn of the 20th century until a human population explosion resulted in a loss of habitat that caused a massive decline. In the 1930s, almost a quarter of Java was forest, but by the mid-70s, forests accounted for less than 10% of the island. Mass killings by hunters and soldiers further whittled the population down, and by 1980, only a handful of tigers remained. The last known Javan tiger was killed in 1984. You will succeed because you are as wily as the Javan tiger from where you get your name. Number 8. Falkland Islands Wolf Without any predators to instill cautiousness, these small fox-like wolves were sitting ducks for the first human settlers on the island, the only land mammal native to the Falkland Islands. The wolves had no natural fear of humans and nowhere to hide if they did. With little resistance, the wolves were hunted indiscriminately for everything from fur, livestock safety, and just plain fun. By the time Charles Darwin arrived on the island in 1833, he noted the rarity of the wolves and predicted their demise within a few years. Sure enough, in 1876, the Falkland Islands wolf was extinct. Fucking sure rocks and little Falklands. rifles. Why? Because I want you to. Number 7. Stellar's Sea Cow. Sea Cow? That's the rumor around Faye's beauty shop. Some kind of a hobgoblin. As the largest kind of Serenia in history, the Stellar's sea cow was a conspicuous staple of North Pacific marine life. Discovered by zoologist George Wilhelm Steller in 1741, the sea cow was not known for its speed. So, as a result, its slowness meant it was easily hunted by European sailors for its meat, skin, fat, and oil. The sea cow had already been hunted centuries prior by aboriginals, meaning that only a single small population remained around the Commander Islands. By 1768, the population was entirely destroyed, and no verified sightings of the sea cow appeared after. Thus, within 27 years of Europeans first laying eyes on it, the stellar sea cow was officially extinct. Listen, you're a sweet kid, and you deserve better than an old, an old sea cow like me. Number 6. Atlas Bear Used in gladiator events in Roman times, the Atlas bear was a large, formidable carnivore and the only bear endemic to modern Africa. The Roman Empire was largely responsible for the bear's decline, as thousands were captured and ritualistically killed in baiting and fighting competitions. Following the fail of the empire and the advent of firearms, the bears were overhunted and driven to small, fragmented populations in the Atlas Mountains. They became a rare and sought-after item for collectors, with many being captured for zoos and fairs, which further atrophied the population. The bears fell to human greed, and the last individual was killed in 1870. I see. Killing that bear won't make you a man. Oh, now you're trying to be wise. Number five, Great Auk. We've called the weekend Acknowledge, when it really is. We want to acknowledge the importance and significance of the Great Auk. The Great Auk was a medium-sized flightless bird, kind of resembling a penguin. It occupied the entire expanse of the northern Atlantic Ocean living in the coastal waters from the northeastern United States to northern Spain. Being a plump, sedentary animal, which bred on commonly navigated islands, the Great Auk was a practical and plentiful food source for Native American cultures and North Atlantic travelers. 
However, the consumption of the ox as well as the hunting of the birds for its own down feathers outnumbered its reproduction rates, and soon there was an existential emergency. Naturalists tried but failed to save the species, and the last confirmed specimens were shot in 1844. It was declared extinct in 1852. What are you doing here? I figured you'd be free. This fake job of yours can't keep you too busy now, can it? Actually, I am busy. I'm preparing a lecture on the great auk. Thanks for dropping by. Number four, thylacine. This was the, the really most beautiful, spectacular flesh-eating mammal in Australia, and the first thing we did when we got here was exterminated. Also known as the Tasmanian tiger or Tasmanian wolf, the thylacine is a now mythic creature that was once very much real. As a large carnivorous marsupial, the thylacine was Australia's top predator for thousands of years before becoming extinct on the mainland, possibly due to competition with humans and dingoes. The tiger thrived on Tasmania, however, until Europeans settled the island and declared the rather harmless marsupial a pest. Bounty programs were set in place that destroyed thousands of thylacines, and by 1930 they were extinct in the wild though there have been thousands of unconfirmed reports in years since, including several convincing videos. The last known thylacine died in the Hobart Zoo in 1936. Look inside its pouch! Extinct Tasmanian tigers! Number three, Caribbean monk seal. Monk seals. Centuries ago, they were common throughout the Mediterranean, including the Ligali Islands. Named for the folds on its head that resembled a monk's hood, the Caribbean monk seal was extremely common in the West Indies during the 17th century. The seal's blubber offered a sizable oil yield for use in lamps and machinery, so explorers and settlers killed the docile pinnipeds by the hundreds. Commercial fishing further ravaged the population by destroying their food supply, and by the early 1900s sightings were very rare. The last confirmed killing of a Caribbean monk seal was in 1939, and the last verified sighting was in 1952. Number 2. Western Black Rhinoceros because the world's largest conservation network says the western black rhino is now extinct in the wild. Traditional Chinese medicine has not been kind to rhinos of any species, and the western black rhinoceros is the latest casualty. Illegal trade in wildlife is now estimated to be worth around $10 billion per year. This is driving many species to extinction. Hunted for the supposed medicinal value of its horn, the western subspecies of black rhino was poached to oblivion during the 20th century. You know, it's no accident that this species that's gone extinct is a species which is prized for one part of it, that is the horn. Though preservation actions were taken in the 1930s, the rhino population went into a steep decline shortly thereafter, dropping to only a few hundred in the 1980s, only 10 individuals in 2000, and only 5 the next year. The last reported sighting occurred in 2006, and in 2011, the rhino was declared extinct, making it the first rhino species to go extinct in modern times, though it's likely that the Sumatran and Javan rhinos are soon to follow. But there's a very large and extensive black market, and uh, unfortunately, organized crime gets involved in this because it's a very valuable commodity. Before we unveil our most unfortunate pick, here are a few honorable mentions. She died in the Cincinnati Zoo yeah. at 1 p.m. on the 1st of September, 1914. 14. She was literally alone for about four years before she died. Number one, Dodo. Taekwondo's attack! Yeah! There's no early modern extinct animal more recognizable than the Dodo. A fat, large-beaked flightless bird that inhabited the island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean, the dodo lived in blissful harmony until Dutch settlers arrived on the island and fleeced the dodo out of its existence. <coughs> Having no natural predators on an island where they reigned supreme, the dodo was completely unequipped to deal with the humans and the animals introduced by them, like pigs and macaques, that infested the island. It took only 64 years for dodos to be completely wiped out with the birds considered officially extinct by 1662. They do, however, still live on in media as nature's punching bags. Put away, me hearties. Have you important no time at all now? Do you agree with our list? Which animal extinction piqued your unfortunate interest? Although we, we have the occasional uh, lamb, the, uh, dogs, cats, etc., but never a stuffed dog. For more devastating top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It's also robbing local people of their livelihoods, and it's also perpetuating fraud and criminal activity, and it also robs countries of their cultural and natural heritage.